Well, my $30 subscription plan with Midjourney has expired again. So hearing all the buzz about Leonardo AI, I decided to investigate. And wow, the software really is different from the competition. Just look at these images. Fantastic quality. Super clean. In my opinion, Leonardo AI is hands down the best free art generator on the market today. Now in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Leonardo AI as a free alternative to Midjourney, specifically for all your print on demand needs. I'll be covering the five best topics for print on demand, as well as some pros and cons. I'll also demonstrate ways that you can sell your images to potentially generate a passive income. So first things first, you're going to need to get signed up to gain access to Leonardo AI. So just put in your email address and click count me in here. Then it's going to send you an email and ask you to join their discord. I actually skipped this step and simply launched the app, clicked I am whitelisted and Leonardo gave me instant access. Now I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail here for the sake of time, but basically you're going to get 150 tokens that will regenerate every 24 hours and this will allow us to create about 75 images. And mind you, this is all 100% free and if I take a look here in the facts and help section, you can see that even the free users are allowed to sell these images commercially. Okay, so let's get into the five best topics for print on demand products. In my humble opinion, after using Leonardo AI for a couple of weeks, it excels at generating images for plants, animals, scenery, food, and skulls. And we can sell these images on a wide range of products like t-shirts and apparel, posters, coloring books, stickers, and with Leonardo's tiling feature, you can even get into phone cases and handbags, things like that. Okay, so let me quickly demonstrate how I've been using this tool. Let's say you want to generate an image for a t-shirt design. Now you can go about this several ways, but I found to be the most practical for me is to use the community feed. Here you've got a trending tab, a new feed, and a tops feed. Personally, I found this tops feed to be the most helpful. As you can see, as I scroll through, you're going to immediately see designs that would be suitable for t-shirts, stickers, or how about this one for a character in a children's book, or even this one for a coloring page. So what I've done is I've scrolled through here and I've liked all the images that I think have potential for creating designs for my print on demand products. And now you can see if I go into my personal feed and my liked feed, then I have all these saved designs here on one page. So let's say I want to generate a t-shirt design. I'd click on one of these that I think is a suitable starting point and then use the remix function. And now I can just change one or two keywords in the prompt. So let's say we want to do a llama in this style. I'll just remove the lion and replace it with llama then click generate. And within about 20 seconds, Leonardo AI will produce you an amazing image you can then use for your t-shirt designs. So now let's say we want to do this for some coloring pages. You would follow the same method Simply choose a design you'd like to start from, change a couple keywords, and start generating some coloring pages for a coloring book. For more on how to create a coloring book and list it on Amazon KDP, check out this video here. And if you're enjoying the video, please don't forget to smash that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Now before we get into the pros and cons, I first want to demonstrate an amazing feature here that's exclusive to Leonardo AI. This AI canvas tool has to be the coolest thing that I've seen or used in any of the AI art generators. This thing will allow you to combine images, expand on images, you can even alter images. Let's say you want sunglasses on your cat image. You would draw a shape of sunglasses around the eyes and type in the command bar, sunglasses, and bam, you'd get glasses on your cat. So let me quickly demonstrate one of the use cases here. I'm going to select from my previous generations. And let's say you have an image like this tiger where the ears are cut off the top and you want to fix it. Just select it and it will pop up back in the editor. And now I'm simply going to fit the image of the tiger into the selection box with a little bit sticking up where the ears should be. Then I'll type in the box tiger's ears and click generate. And bam, as you can see, this powerful artificial intelligence will expand and fix your images. And this works for any image, not just the ones generated here. So as you can see, Leonardo AI is packed with features that truly are next level. Now we've already gone over a lot of the pros, but let me quickly recap and give you some of the cons I found while using Leonardo AI. The biggest pros are of course, namely that it's free with an included commercial license. And I also like the fact that it's easy to understand and navigate while at the same time being packed with some powerful features. 
And for a couple of the cons, you will find sometimes this produces some weird images with tripled legs and quadrupled eyeballs. So it can be a bit random at times. The only other con I can think of is that your images could be easily copied, which I don't really see as being a big deal. But if you're concerned about that, I'd advise deleting your images once you've downloaded them to your computer. Now for some ways to sell your images. For coloring books and children's books, I would recommend Amazon KDP and the print on demand services out there like Redbubble, Amazon Merch, Printify, Printful, TeePublic, and many more have hundreds of white label products that we can use these images on. Now I do believe the secret to success for print on demand is simply using as many of these platforms as possible and creating as many high quality listings as you can manage. Keep in mind there is no get rich quick scheme. It's going to take a lot of time and effort to build anything substantial in the print on demand world. That being said, I sure hope you found some value and enjoyed this video. Please don't hesitate to leave a comment and smash that like button. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.